Star Wars 7x7 episode 1795 today. The final interview from Star Wars Celebration Chicago, and it's actually the first interview I conducted. It's with Rob Bredo, who has a laundry list of titles, including being the head of Industrial Light and Magic. Let's go. Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode. Thank you so much for subscribing wherever you happen to be catching this episode. Thank you also to the patrons who help make this show possible every day, week, and month by supporting me at patreon.com slash sw7x7. So, as I said at the top, this was the very first interview I conducted at Celebration Chicago, and if you're catching the video version of this, you'll see that it was done in the media room at Celebration Chicago, and it was also done on the Thursday when everything was relatively quiet and it was a really awesome opportunity to be able to meet Rob Bredo and to you know chat with him and uh, and met his daughter as well and she's very wonderful too and he's just so incredibly unassuming like you would not necessarily realize that you're talking to the senior vice president and executive creative director and head of ILM and also the visual effects supervisor and co-producer for Solo a Star Wars Story as well as the author of Industrial Light and Magic Presents Making Solo a Star Wars Story by Abrams Books. Yeah, like I said, a mouthful of different titles that you can throw out there. So um, we're going to be talking about the Making Solo book over the course of this week. It's really incredible and I I just, you know, it's amazing. And if you ever grew up on the art of Star Wars books, for example, uh, you will find that this is definitely of a piece with those and yet it has a very specific focus in terms of the visual effects presentation. And it's just, it's absolutely fascinating, but we'll discuss that more in the coming days. For today, though, Rob is going to answer that one question interview about when it comes to Star Wars, what do you know for sure? And he's also going to supplement his answer with a story from the set of Solo, A Star Wars Story. And it's also going to highlight the changing role of visual effects in movie production, particularly how visual effects is moving out of the post-production stage of things and actually becoming more a part of principal photography. That is also something that's a subject of the Industrial Light and Magic Presents Making Solo a Star Wars storybook that he wrote as well. And like I said, we'll get into that more later this week. For now, though, I'm just going to take a quick break and then come back with my interview with Rob Bredo, who is the head of Industrial Light and Magic. And before I do that, I'll just simply say thank you again for joining me for this episode. And as always, may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Now, stay tuned. When we come back, Rob Bredo from ILM. Hey, Rebel Rouser. If you've got a business that needs to reach a dedicated audience of Star Wars fans, or you know somebody who does, then you might want to reach out to me. (laughs) I've got a show that reaches thousands of people between the audio version, the video version, and our social media channels, and I'd love to find out how I can help you with your business ventures, too. Just reach out at sw7x7.com slash sponsors, that's plural, S-P-O-N-S-O-R-S, that's sw7x7.com slash sponsors, and let's see how we can work together. All right, so what's your name and what's your Star Wars claim to fame? My name is Rob Bredo. I was the visual effects supervisor and co-producer on Solo, a Star Wars story. You say that so humbly. <laughs> it's not a huge big deal. It was, a, it was a huge big deal to me, yeah. I had so much fun on that film with Ron Howard and the entire team. I mean, we had so much fun from beginning to end. That's excellent. So I know your time is precious, and so I'm going to ask you one question, which is when it comes to Star Wars, what do you know for sure? I know for sure that Star Wars is fun. I mean, we had just so much fun putting this movie together. It was a labor of love for everybody involved. Um, One of my most fun memories from on set was the first time we put the cast into hyperspace. We actually built a screen that we projected hyperspace onto and all the whole scene for the entire Kessel Run was on this screen. So the actors were actually really in the cockpit. We didn't tell them that we were going to do this in advance. So they got up there and it was stars and when when uh, Lando and L3 pushed the levers up, we streaked the stars into hyperspace and we shook the cockpit for the first time and it blew their minds. We just had so much fun um, putting the, the cast really into hyperspace. I think Phoebe goes, is this thing real? Are we really going somewhere? <laughs> so we just had a lot of fun making the movie together. 
That's fantastic. Thank you so much. And you have a book coming out next week. I do. The book is here at the show and coming out uh, worldwide next week. It's called uh, ILM Presents. I work in Industrial Light and Magic. ILM Presents Making Solo. And it's really an inside look at what it was like for me to be on this movie from the very beginning of pre-production all the way through the entire film. And for anybody who wants to keep up with uh, what you've got going on and what ILM has going on, where should they be paying attention to you online? Absolutely. You can look, at, look for me at R Bredo, so R-B-R-E-D-O-W, and that's on Twitter or Instagram. Um, and then take a look for ILM Visual Effects, so it's ILM VFX on Twitter and everywhere you want to find us online. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. Great to meet you. Podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. This is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it. <laughs>